Hey guys, welcome. I've got a home decor haul to share with you today. And these are kind of random items that I found either at estate sales, thrift store, Craigslist. Um, I've got a few things from Home Goods and Ikea. I've got a plant back here because you know, a home decor haul for me is gonna include a plant, right? And then I've got, um, yeah, a couple of other random items. So it's gonna be kind of a bargain, bargain finds haul. Okay, first I'm gonna show you this plant because otherwise I'm gonna end up knocking it over on my white carpet and there's gonna be dirt everywhere. So I got this at Home Depot. You guys might recognize what it is. It's a fiddle leaf fig. This is a hugely popular house plant. Architectural Digest, they're everywhere in their pages. Um, they make a really good house plant because they don't require any sunlight. Um, they do like, you know, some bright indirect lighting and they're super like lush, you know, they have beautiful leaves and they just add a nice pop of green to your space. If you guys want some time, I can do like a specific houseplant video, but for now, that's all I'm gonna say on this. We're gonna scoot it off the carpet and back to where it goes in its white pot back here. All right guys, check this crystal out. Look at how sparkly this is. Like, oh my gosh, there's crystal points all over it and this is huge. It is so heavy. Um, so I got this on Craigslist and what was funny about that was it wasn't advertised on Craigslist. I actually went over to this lady's house to look at a piece of furniture and I didn't end up getting the furniture. I was just kind of checking it out and she was moving, she was moving back to Spain. So she was selling everything off and she ended up selling me this massive crystal for 50 bucks, which at the gym shows, one of this size and quality would go for several hundred dollars. So that was a major score. And wow, that's really heavy. Okay, I gotta set that down. I'm getting all, I'm getting all out of breath holding it. Oh my gosh, but look how sparkly it is. And it's like, it's got crystal points all the way around it. Okay, since we're on the topic of stones, let me show you this set of rose quartz bookends. I found these at an estate sale. You just never know what you're gonna find at those. Um, so there's some really cool stuff out there, really good deals, and these are absolutely gorgeous. And there's no better bargain than free, right? My dad sent me these. Um, he finds rocks on the beach in Oregon. The, the Oregon coast is just like insane for finding the coolest stones and stuff. So check out this triangle rock. Like what the heck? He found this on the beach exactly like that in a perfect triangle. I don't know exactly how this got into the shape of a triangle, but it's really freaking cool. And then he sent also this little cab, which is like a matching, it's like the same type of stone, but it's like a perfect little cabochon, which I don't know, I might make that into jewelry or something, so. So yeah, you just never know what you're gonna find in nature that you can turn into home decor for free, which is the best bargain of all, right? Okay, I'm gonna grab the camera and go back and show you guys the mid-century modern dresser that I found on Craigslist. And what I really liked about this dresser is there's no hardware for the drawer pulls. It's just a ridge that goes across the bottom of the drawer, pulls out super smooth and it just glides like a dream like all the drawers work great I love the legs on it it has that light airy you know mid-century modern style to it and there's nine drawers to it which is awesome because at first I thought I was gonna get the mom the Ikea mom dresser the six drawer one and then I changed my mind and just decided to hold out for something that was super unique I also like that it's built well the construction is solid it's got dovetail joints and it's built out of walnut. So I do like the walnut wood. When I first was gonna get it, I thought that I would be, you know, making it over and, um, you know, probably like whitewashing or something. But then once I got it in the room, I was like, you know what? Nope, I'm not touching this. It's perfect just the way it is. I like that it's not um, oak. I like the walnut because it's a little bit cooler tone of a wood rather than oak, which can kind of go a little bit orangey. So since I'm not gonna be making it over, the next step is just to go ahead and organize it. So that should be its, its own video, right? Like a dresser organization. I did one of those a long time ago, but it's time to do an updated one. Next up is this globe. I got this at Home Goods, and I love the modern look of it. I like the stand, it's super cool. I don't know if you guys are familiar with atmosphere globes. They're one of the top globe makers in the world. And globes, globes and maps and topographical maps I think are just super cool as home decor um, because you know they're educational and I don't know there's just something about them I've, already, I've always been drawn to them um, so I really liked that this one has this you know it's silver and white and I don't know if you can see but the silver is super like luminescent it's it's just a really, really pretty one. Um, so I've noticed that Home Goods get some really cool globes in. Oh, one quick tip when shopping for globes is I like to look for ones that have a lot of detail to them. And this one even shows like the mountains and tiny lakes and everything. Um, so some of them are a little more simplified, but I think it's a lot more interesting to find the ones that are, are you know, super detailed. All right, and since we're talking about Home Goods, I'll show you this floor poof back here. 
All right, so I got this four poof at Home Goods. I showed you guys really quickly, I think in the last vlog uh, when I first got it, and it's just a really nice woven floor poof, like a nice substantial one. Some of them can be a little bit, um, you know, a little on the small side or really expensive. You know, they can be like $120 or something. But I got this one for 30 bucks. It's a good size, makes a good ottoman, and so I keep it right in front of our Ethan Allen chair back there. It just gives a really nice cozy feel to the space. All right, you guys, so I just recently got this throw at Home Goods, and I love the border of it. I love the geometric pattern. Um, it's white, it's more white on one side and then more gray on the other. But I really like that it has that sort of southwestern look to it, but the colors make it more Scandinavian with that white and gray. Um, but yeah, they're super soft too, really cozy. So yeah, if you're into that Scandinavian look, these definitely have that sort of feel to them. And then also for a soft good type item, this Mongolian faux fur pillow. I got this on discount at Joann's, Joann's Fabrics. And I love that they have those kind of curly hair. Sorry, Michael's outside. If you hear that, Michael's outside right now cutting wood. Um, so these have that kind of curly, almost like crimped texture to it. And they're super soft. I got this for, it was like 40% off and then I had another 20% off, okay, I think I just ate some of its hair. I, it ha I had another 20% off coupon on top of that, so it was like super cheap. Um, and it's a nice size too, so anyway. But look at that fur, it's like so shaggy and there's so much texture to it. I wanted to find some pillow inserts before I showed you guys these, but I'm just gonna show you now because I'm holding out for the perfect ones. Um, so I found these pillow covers on To Save, that website, um, save.com, they're overseas. They have like all kinds of products, like a huge variety of products on their website. They have some really cute home decor items, so I wanna show you these pillow covers. They're like $2.50 each, something like right around that. And they have sort of, um, they have a linen feel to it. So I don't know if you'll be able to see the fabric, but because it's hard to see on the website. So I want to show you so you can tell what it's like. So this one has a mountain and trees and it's got kind of a vintage look to it. I like that one. And then I have some cactus ones, which are super fun. Um, this one has the cactus blossoms. And then this one, Look at that, I love the cactus ones, they're so fun. And then this one I really like a lot. That one is really cool. It has like the Mexican Vince Post cactus on it. I also got this cactus and agave tapestry on there too. So I wanna show you guys that. I wanna share some Ikea items with you guys. I have a new clothing rack, which I wasn't sure if I should go with the same one I had in Maui or not. They're, they're both Ikea, but this is a different style than the one I had in Maui. Okay, so right after this video, I'm gonna break this out of the package, get it all set up and start putting it to use. And then this plant stand, I already showed you guys, I think in a vlog um, when I was painting it. Uh, it was just a dark kind of, you know, like regular rusty metal kind of look. And so I just painted it that light gray, um, iced matte gray from Rust-Oleum and made it all new and fresh again. And so now I'm just waiting to find the perfect size pot to slip in there. So I got this for two bucks at an estate sale and I just like that it has the super clean lines. There's no, you know, curly cues on it. A lot of plant stands I've noticed have lots of, you know, curls and it's more like Victorian style looking. Um, so yeah, I was trying to avoid that and just stick with super clean lines. So yeah, two bucks, can't beat that. I got this watering can at Ikea. I love this. I think it's so cool with the bamboo handle. They have them in different colors too, the white, gray, and pink. Uh, they're all like really pretty colors, you know, pretty shades. But I decided to go with the white one because it matches everything that I already have going on. And I like to have this for indoor watering. I got this pot at the thrift store for a buck and it's made in Germany. I could tell the instant I saw it, I was like, okay, that is made somewhere else in some other country that is really cool and they do quality work. So made in Germany. Um, yeah, you could just tell by the paint job. You know how sometimes you're just like browsing, 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 you know, the thrift store and then all of a sudden something catches your eye and you're like, okay, that, that is different. Um, so on camera, it probably just looks like a basic white pot, but even the design, like it comes down, it tapers and then it stops and then turns cylindrical, which is just really, I don't know, Really cool design. So very streamlined, I like that a lot. All right guys, I'm back. I just had to stop and swap out the camera card. So I was about to show you this piece of art and I'm gonna try not to bounce my light back at you guys. Let me try to block that out. But it's Saguaro Cacti in the Fog. I thought it was super neat and I loved it. It's actually framed in a vintage window frame. So when I first got this, I thought I was gonna sand the frame and refinish it. But now that I've been looking at it, I kind of like it how it is just, you know, in its own shabby uniqueness. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Would you leave it exactly as is here? Like check out the side. Like you can see the bare wood on the side. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty rustic looking, but I sort of like that. So I'm thinking I might just leave it like that. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. And then this moon art is from Ikea and it's made on metal. I thought it was really cool because when the light shines from different directions throughout the day, it makes the surface of the moon light up 
I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it has a lot of luminescence to it because it is on the metal. So cool, I love that. The only thing is you gotta be careful of is, sorry if you can hear that, Michael's working outside, um, is watch out for scratching art that's done on metal because it can scratch, but you know, once it's on the wall, it'll be safe, right? But just be aware of that because it can scratch really easily. Okay, and then you guys know how the eclipse just went on August 21st. The post office came out with eclipse stamps and I'm not technically a stamp collector, but I do love astronomy. And so when those came out, I was like, like, oh my gosh, I'm definitely gonna get some of those. So the cool thing about these is they're not just, you know, regular stamps, they actually change colors. So they're like that hyper color or I don't know what it's called exactly, but you know how like mood rings, they like changed color? Well, these will be completely dark when they're cold and then when you warm them up, so you can just touch them and warm them up and all of a sudden you can see the surface of the moon. So super cool. I thought those were really, really neat and I decided that I was going to get a little frame for them. So this is just one of those like $3.50 white plain Ikea frames and I'm going to make some eclipse art with those, with the stamps. Okay, now this is a really different sort of home decor. This is a home planetarium, and I've been wanting to show you guys this. So this is from Sega Toys, and it's basically a mini projector that projects stars onto your ceiling, right? So this projects about 60,000 stars onto your ceiling, is what they say. So I use this disc every night when I'm going to sleep. I'll just turn this on for an hour. If you're prone to a little bit of insomnia every now and again, this is awesome for that because it is so calming and so relaxing. So quality wise, this is pretty lightweight. So I don't think that it has glass in there. I don't think any of the lenses are glass. I think they're plastic. I'm sure there's probably a wide variety of home planetariums. This is just the first one that I've tried and I really like it. So I would definitely try out more, um, but it's super easy to operate. It's just got the power switch there, shooting star option. It, um, you can have the motion, so it'll either rotate, you know, um, northern or southern, and then it has a timer. So you can turn it on for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour. Usually I'll just hit all of those, bang, 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 turn on the shooting star motion, and then turn it on for an hour. And I just let that play every night before I go to sleep. It's just so relaxing. different height ceilings you can adjust the focus with that little part there so yeah like I said I'm sure that there are probably top of the line ones which I can keep my eyes out for but so far I'm really happy with this one have you guys seen these rain sticks oh my gosh I thought I thought these were so cool hold on one sec so these are made out of Choya cactus skeletons, and I think they're so freaking cool. Um, that sound too, sometimes it like gives me tingles, but yeah, they're, they're really neat. Um, I got them both at estate sales. So this one was from an online auction estate sale, and then this one was one of the regular, you know, walkthrough where you're going through the house. Um, so Michael found this one for me, and it matched perfectly, so I was like, oh yeah, I'll add that to my Choya skeleton collection. Same with that big one back there, I got that one at an estate sale too, um, online auction, so where you just bid and you can look up in your area just you know online estate sales and carrying transitions is one of the companies that puts them on like all across the USA so yeah if you're looking for some really good deals I swear estate sales are like the the best for bargain hunting. Also at one of the estate sales, I found this vintage bottle. It's a whiskey bourbon bottle, Beam's Choice, and they were making these back in 1964. I don't know if that was during the same time that that show, I Dream of Jeannie, was airing, or if it was after. I don't know the timeline of like when that show ran. It was one of my favorite shows though when I was a kid. So I grew up watching that and I loved, so I grew up like loving all kinds of Jeannie bottles, right? Um, so when I saw this for $6 at the estate sale, I snapped it up. I was like, okay, that's gonna be a really cool, unique decor piece. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is gonna be a heck of a long haul. Okay, these are the last items, I promise. Um, jewelry displays, wood jewelry displays. I love the heck out of these. These are made in Indonesia. Um, the wood is like super cool with the patterns and the natural grain of it. And I really like this one. It's like naturally shapely and I love the design of it. It's sort of asymmetrical, you know, tilt to it, um, the way that it's cut. And 
you know, shaped and I just thought that was super cool. So I like to have displays set up when I'm working so that way I can hang my jewelry as I'm going and sort of see like how it's gonna hang and how it's gonna wear. And I got these at the, the gym show when it was just here in September. The September show is super tiny compared to the February one so I can't wait for the January, February one to come around. All right guys, so those are all my random bargain home decor finds. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you wanna see another haul video, let me know either thumbs up or let me know in the comments so I know if you want to see more because I do have some beauty products that I didn't want to include in this video So I thought I better keep that separate. So if you want to see that, let me know. All right guys Love you. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye